Hey, this is Wes from PC Gamer. I'm here at the Vive room at CES 2016, and I just tried out the new Vive VR Pre headset. There are a couple major new features with the Vive Pre headset that differ from the dev kit released last year, but the biggest one is the new camera on the front of the headset. And this lets you actually see people and objects in your surroundings, sort of like augmented reality. You get this turquoise, shimmery, Tron-esque view of the world that you can see beyond the VR game or experience you're in. And that really helps you get around while you're still wearing the headset without having to take it off. So where before you only had this grid when you got close to a wall that would kind of show you the boundaries of your environment, you can now see everything and just tapping a, a button on the controller a couple times will let you fully immerse yourself in that view so you can navigate your way around the space you're in. I think the chaperone system is a big advantage for Steam VR and for the Vive over Oculus Rift, especially when it comes to a standing experience, because you can transition from sitting to standing and actually see where you are in the environment without worrying about tripping over a cord or something like that. The second major change to the headset that HTC and Vive have made over the first dev kit is all about the lenses and the, the vision system. The screen is brighter, the lenses are definitely clearer and sharper than they were before. I thought the Vive looked great when I tried it at GDC last year. I think it still looks really good. It's a pretty clear image, but it's still not high enough resolution for text to be really crisp and really easy to read. I still struggled to read some of the text on the screen. The Vive Pre is definitely a step up over the previous iteration, which was already pretty damn good VR, but there are still some kinks that need to be worked out. The headset's still pretty heavy, and I don't think the strap system is quite there yet. It doesn't do enough to anchor the headset to the back of your head to kind of take some of the weight stress off of you. So the front of my face was definitely feeling weighted down after just a few minutes wearing the headset. and. As with any VR headset, getting the fit and focus right is really important to getting the image sharp and clear. I did the same game demos that I had done at GDC and other events, so none of that was new to me, but I did pick up on some new things with the chaperone system and the way the camera works for it. Specifically, at one point I was standing in a corner and I wasn't looking at the wall, but because the system could tell that I was close to bumping into an object, the chaperone system kept displaying the same augmented reality view of my environment while I was in the demo. That's something where the chaperone system is gonna keep you safe, but you're gonna have to learn how to identify where you are in your environment to keep it from kind of intruding in your game space while you're playing. So that was my experience with the HTC Vive Pre. I know they're gonna be sending out about 7,000 dev kits to developers, and then there's gonna be a consumer version a few months following that. Check out PCGamer.com for more coverage from CES 2016.